Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Dan with Theta Trend. Today is Friday. Uh, what day is it? It's December 12th, 2014. It's about 8 a.m. here, Mountain Time. The market's been open for a half hour or so. And for those of you who don't know, oh boy, what did I do there? Uh, for those of you who don't know, the Russell 2000 gap lower this morning, right down around this, this level of support in here. And it seems to be rallying back up right now. It's early in the day. Um, you know, it could close this gap, it could go higher. We, we really just don't know what's going to happen. Um, there's been a lot of sideways chop in here and some pretty good volatility. I mean, this was a huge up day followed by a big down day followed by a big up day that got sold off late in the day, a gap lower. Um, it's just moving around a lot and, and I get the sense that things aren't good or the market is not happy, but I, I really don't know what's going to happen. Um, what I do know is that my position is getting relatively close to expiration and it's sort of right in the middle of the uh, expiration break-even points. What I wanted to do is jump over to the Analyze tab and just take a look. This morning we're only going to look at the December position. Uh, the January position is doing just fine, but we'll, we'll talk about that another time. Uh, so right now, this is the December position. Price is right here trading around. 115 and a half or so, 115.64 or something like that. You can see here it's unlocked and moving around. And what I'm looking at is I'm looking at my Greeks. I have a negative 19 delta. That's fine. So if price pulls back a little bit more, um, I'm going to be doing better. My gamma is negative 33, which is which is high. But again, we're we're getting really close to expiration. Options, excuse me, options expiration is a week from today. So we're within seven days and. Gamma is going to start to become a factor in here. Um, theta at the current price is about $30 a day or so. And that's just because we're, we're getting really close to expiration. And as you can see here, if you look at the expiration break-even graph, we have a lower expiration break-even around 111.5. And, um, and on the upside somewhere around 119 quarter or so, something like that. And right now we're sort of hanging out in the sweet spot. Um, right in the middle. We could certainly trade back up to this 117, 118 level though, just based on the way things have been jumping around. So what I started looking at this morning is, since we're getting closer here to expiration, I thought it'd be nice to kind of reduce the risk a little bit. Um, and I was looking at things that I could do to cut down the risk and still stay in the trade and still give myself some room to profit if, you know, especially if we stay in this, say, 114 to 117 neighborhood this this trade is doing well and I'd like to like to milk a little more money out of it if it's possible but I also don't want to overstay my welcome um, and end up losing money on this thing so what I was looking at here is selling out uh, an unbalanced butterfly and this would sell out the 106 113 116 so what we're gonna do here is just quickly we'll take a look um, Delta's Let's just call delta negative 10-ish, something like that. It's moving around a lot. Gamma is negative 30, and theta is 30, okay? So we've got, well, now it's back to negative 15. So it's negative 10 or 15, negative 30, and 30, approximately. If we click this on, and actually, before we do that, let's go ahead and do this. This is, I'm trying to keep these lines roughly at the expiration break-even uh, for today. And they're pretty close. So around 112 and around just below 118. So what happens if we get rid of this butterfly? I'll give it a minute there. Well, what we see here is we cut our downside risk quite a bit. If you remember, this was down around a thousand dollar loss and it's been cut back down to 600 or so. Um, our delta is, let's call it more like 5 to 10 instead of 10 to 15, negative 5 to 10, negative 10 to 15. Um, gamma stays around negative 30, that's okay. Theta falls off a bit, we lose about a third of our theta. Um, but we cut the downside risk in a big way. Uh, and if we look at this, we actually give ourselves a little bit more room on the upside at the T plus zero line. The downside stays about the same. So there's not a huge, huge difference here. Um, if we look at the say we're right here in the middle, our expiration profit is 472. I think if we compare that to what we were, this is a little bit slow, so just give it a minute here, 472 versus, you know, 525 or something like that. 
So we're giving up a little bit of uh, money here by, by covering these short 113s, but at the same time, we're cutting off quite a bit of risk on the downside if we do go lower. Um, and on the upside, it's staying about the same. So I kind of like this trade, and there's a good chance that I'm going to go ahead and execute this for a 35 cent credit-ish amount, well, 30 to 35 cents, um, and just try to reduce some downside risk. You know, with the Russell breaking down like this, I don't know if we're going to head lower, but I would hate to leave, uh, you know, a big exposure on the downside and then come in on Monday morning or something and, and be down here at 110 or something. It's unlikely, but it's certainly possible. So I hope that helps. Have a good weekend. Keep an eye out for the weekend market commentary.